All right, so uh, are you wondering about how to reverse diet properly? There's a lot of different information out there. Stay tuned. And Dr. Scott Stevenson is going to tell you three different ways that he uses it successfully. Okay, so reverse dieting. The idea is that you dieted, 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 dieted. Maybe you competed, you got a photo shoot you've gotten the way you want to look for the beach and now you're going to reverse out of that. This will depend very much on the individual. Um, we had a question on this that probably brought up this topic. This can be a very precarious state psychologically so structure can be super duper important. Some people are um, uh, they're very afraid of gaining body fat too quickly. <laughs> Sometimes if you really diet it down, we talked about this in the seminar we did a couple days ago, um, it's good to get out of that deep deficit that you're in. Physiologically, you really want to get out of there and get into a healthy state. So that might be necessary, and that's not a terrible thing to do. Going from 4% body fat to 6% body fat isn't awful. It's terrible. You're not going to be able to stay at that super lean state forever. It's not going to happen to stay healthy. So that just can't be. So three ways you can reverse diet. And I like to do this too. So for me, just uh, spending a week just getting out of that deep deficit makes a world of difference. Just eating back to some level of normalcy. One way you can reverse diet, and this you don't have to stick with this exactly, but if you kept rigid dietary records as you dieted down, you can literally follow that as your basis for backing out of your diet. You literally use that those dietary changes in reverse. So three weeks post your diet, or maybe two weeks after you finished your diet, look back to where you were three weeks out, and then go to four weeks out, five weeks out, but as you carry forward um, after the diet, when you're reversing. Another way you can do it is simply employ the same kinds of strategies you did when you dieted in. So you made adjustments on the fly, depending on how your body was adjusting, depending on how much cardio you needed, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera to get ready for your show. So that's more of an intuitive, weekly check-in, bi-weekly check-in with your coach or with yourself, or maybe you're measuring skin folds, you'd make those same kinds of adjustments if you're just reacting to how your body's responding to the changes you make. <coughs> One of the ways I like to do this, and this is often how I will diet people down, clients or myself, is the extra calories that come in on the diet would be focused in a nutrient timing approach, so peri-workout. So the thing I like about that, why it seems to work really well, is um, it gives you an opportunity to stick with your basic diet on non-training days. So many of those days you're gonna do just what you did on your diet, but you're gonna have larger meals, which gives you a nice dopamine release in your brain, the reward systems get to kick in, gives you an opportunity to go spend some time with family, sort of rebuild your social structure, which is super duper important. Um, and you get to have big meals. Now this is not for everyone, some people, once they sort of, um, uh, flip the switch with a big meal. If they go crazy, then they can just kind of just get away from them, and the next thing you know, they're they're off the wagon, so to speak. You don't want that to happen. But as long as you structure that and you can stick with that, and those meals are post-workout, when you primed yourself to use those nutrients in the way you want, towards building mu muscle, not building fat, this can be a phenomenal way to do it, and that can carry you for six, eight, eight, ten weeks post-contest. And most of the time. When you're six weeks after a diet, now you're basically past that post uh, post diet or post contest period, and now you're switching into off season mode. So you're sort of out of that um, that iffy spot. So three ways to reverse diet: basically structure your reverse diet just like you dieted in. Use the same principles that you did the diet in, just do those dieting back out, or use a peri workout nutrient timing approach. One, two, three.